Hey everybody, I'm Braden, and today we're going to be unboxing the EG4 12K PV. This is a hybrid inverter, the newest from EG4 Electronics, so let's get started. As you can see, the box is pretty big. It's a similar size to our 18K PV, and similar in appearance as well. Alrighty here, we got, of course, our mounting template. Take a look inside. Got our Wi-Fi dongle. This connects directly to the 12K PV on the side. Also has a serial number and pin that you can use to connect it to the EG4 monitor account. Got our mounting brackets. These are similar to the 18K PV as well. So if you're familiar with that, this is pretty much the same thing. Righty, let's get this big old piece of foam off. Inside, of course, got our manual. This is an abridged quick start guide to actually help you get your system up and running as soon as possible. For more detailed information, you can either scan the QR code that we have here or visit our website at EG4 Electronics and find specific downloads for either specific features that you need or just full scale troubleshooting and all that sort of stuff. Back here, we got a box. Looks like inside here we have our CTs. This is what you will need to hook up for most of the hybrid functionality, selling back, measuring grid power, voltage, all that sort of stuff. So got our CTs here. We have, this is our inverter paralleling cable. So if you get multiple 12K PVs that you wanna have in a system, you'll use this cable to connect them all and they'll share data and be able to operate as a single system. This orange cable is our battery comms cable. This is just a simple straight through pinout that connects our EG4 batteries directly to your inverter to allow for closed loop communication. And of course, we have our mounting hardware. We do also include some connectors for the communication cables. If say you are using a battery that doesn't have the CAN communications that are straight through, you need to have a specific pinout. We actually include the connectors so that you can make your own cables. Inside here as well, is a key, which I think we'll need for opening the wire box. So let's go ahead and set that to the side. Double check, make sure there's no more loose components in here. Doesn't look like that's the case. So let's go ahead and pull this out. Now that we got the 12K PV up here, my knees can take a bit of a break. Uh, we have the standard kind of color screen that our 18K PV has as well. There are a lot of similarities in the form factor. But let's go ahead and open the wire box. You'll see that there's actually only two this time. The wire box is a little smaller, giving it a bit more of a compact factor here, but there's still plenty of room to run all the wiring you need and space inside. We actually only have two battery connections as opposed to four on the 18K. So that's one positive, one negative, because there's a whole lot less amperage that's gonna be going uh, up and down between that, uh, that cable. So. It has the standard comms board that we have, so you can, of course, plug in your RSD, auxiliary power supply, generator, dry contacts, and so on and so forth. We also have four MPPT inputs here. So that's, you know, well, I guess eight because you got plus minus for each of them. But there are two MPPTs as opposed to three with the 18 kPV. We have a little transmitter in here as well, so you're still able to get that same benefit using a AP Smart fire safety or a Tygo fire safety, get that rapid shutdown uh, without having to buy that external RSS transmitter. Of course, we also have battery breaker, gin and load breakers here. These are 80 amp breakers. So it's quite a powerful amount of power that can go through the system. Our grid is just lugs here and our battery breaker is a 250 amp. You see here on the front, we also have a lot of knockouts that are pretty large in size to allow for the cables that you would need to run in because of the amperage that can go through. They'll need some pretty large cables. And then on the sides, we have our DC disconnect here on and off, a rapid shutdown button, same as the 18K PV, and of course, where our Wi-Fi dongle fits in, right here on the side. 
On the other side, we just have the other handle, uh, of course the wire box, and we also have knockouts that will be here at the lower side of the wire box. There's not one on this side because of the Wi-Fi dongle, but um, if you want to run side conduit, it makes it a lot easier having this on the side so you don't have to try to size that out and uh, do that knockout. You'll see that the mounting template that we have is about, if not exactly, the same size as a 12K PV. This is to help gauge when you're putting it on the wall. That way you'll know both where the mounting brackets would go and how much space this will take up uh, in, in that uh, install. Again, with the knockouts, these will line up to the exact same size as the 18K PV, which means you can use this with the conduit boxes that come with the both indoor and outdoor wall mount batteries, and it will line up perfectly. Let's go ahead and show where these cables line up real quick. Back in the wire box here. On this board, we have the labels are on the actual PCB itself. So you have your parallel cables down here. That's where your gray one would come in. If you have two inverters, you would, uh, you would utilize both of them, but one in here, one in there, and then of course to your other inverter. And then for your battery comms cable, you'll see right here, and this top left, it says battery comms. This is where this orange cable would plug in and your other one would run to your master battery in your system. The 12K PV has a powerful eight kilowatt continuous output, which can be relegated to 32 amps in order to perfectly fit 40 amp breakers following NEC code. It also has an extremely powerful surge capability, which we will show in a demonstration video soon to come. So stay tuned for that. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for future content and leave a comment down below if you have any questions or feedback for things you'd like for us to cover in a future video. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one.